Alright, quick update on Cardano. So, it's been a little while since I covered Cardano. You can see my last price prediction was over here on the 30th of May. I don't cover ADA too often on my channel. I do point out what I see on the higher time frames though and I am once again seeing that something is playing out. So from the last video we were talking about how in my opinion we were going to come into the daily EMA ribbons, get rejected and once again solidify another lower high just like we've done time after time after time again. I mean if we zoom out you can really see these daily EMA ribbons have been an absolute godsend since they flipped bearish at 225. I've personally uh, been sitting on the sideline for ADA for ages, but there are some price targets that I would be interested in accumulating for the next cycle. I'll talk about that towards the latter half of this video. Uh, we will be talking about the price action and then the oscillators and then my price targets. So right off the back. Higher time frames, let's start off on the daily. As you can see, our most recent Fibonacci from our low to the high, we had this massive run up, we broke down, bounced back up, got rejected from your 0.5 Fibonacci, broke back down, bounced back up, and we got rejected from the 618 Fibonacci, which also came into play uh, with the daily EMA ribbon. So there's a lot of signs playing out in the market right now that we are about to be starting another breakdown. I also do see in this chart, this is so Emmy. Uh, I don't look at ADA too often, but when I do, I notice this is one of the most Emmy charts that we have. I mean, I just see M pattern after M pattern play out. Over here, you can see another big old M pattern, uh, which bounced up into another M pattern. So we've got a lot of stuff going on on the charts right now. Uh, I'm you know, we can talk about the trend line that could be holding us up, something like this, or we could draw something like this. I'm really not too interested in that. I'm interested in the 786 Fibonacci, which in my opinion down here, this is going to be the last line in the sand uh, to be playing out. Let me remove the M pattern breakdown. So 46 cent. This is literally your last line in the sand. If we break below 46, 46.4 46 approximately, we are going to head down for that next major breakdown. Let's actually look at this M pattern that we've got playing out right now. Uh, let's see if it played out on the four hourly time frame because on the daily, it's a little bit ugly to draw from. Let me draw it on the daily and then we'll draw it out on the four hour. So you've got a massive M pattern right here. And on the four hour, yeah, it looks really, really ugly on the four hourly time frame, but something line of best fit. Yeah, I, honestly, I, I don't necessarily think that that would be the perfect M pattern to draw from. So I, I guess we would look at the next price targets to the downside, and that would be our next support box down here. Now, I've also got a couple of Fibonacci's that I do think we're going to come to, namely this next major level down here at 29 cent. We get this from drawing from this impulse low up to this high. And as you can see, you know, I've, I've probably fat fingered it a bit. I should have drawn it from here. But as you can see right there, 1.618 coming in at around about 29. 9.4 cent that is the next price target that i have on my on my mind so we had this uh from about a month ago and we were calling from 55 cent that the next macro move down was 36 cent we've started to trickle down but my next major major level and this is kind of the range where i personally think ada is going to be coming to uh before we have our bear market low and that is this big support box right down here so this is between the ranges of basically 22.3 cent all the way down to 12.5 cent now that might sound like a very bearish price target for a lot of people you know nonetheless people were calling for this to hold one dollar forever and we're now down here at 47 cents so I think we need to put things into perspective. Uh, everything is looking pretty bearish right now. The markets are looking diabolical. Bitcoin as well is solidifying another massive breakdown. I'm looking at this on the four hour, uh, on the uh, five minute time frame. Uh, what I meant to show you was the four hourly time frame. We've once again come into the four hourly EMAs. We've solidified this rejection and now it's starting to break down. All the oscillators and momentum indicators like the squeeze mom, MACD, they are all heading down for Bitcoin. And subsequently, I think this is exactly what we're going to see planned now on cardano as well so let's move over to our oscillators and our momentum indicators so we talked about the uh, ema ribbons if we look at our oscillators let's start off on the higher time frames and then we'll make our way down so as we highlighted 786 fibonacci right here at 46 cent once and if we do break below there you are going to start to see the squeeze bomb trickle back over into light red which is going to be indicative that we are breaking down we're really in a sideways market right now so i wouldn't necessarily take the squeeze bomb at face value because you've got highs up here and you've got lower highs on the squeeze bomb which is indicative 
positive that bears would be taking over the con uh, over the trend but then also on the squeeze mom on the bearish side of things because bear in mind we flip this you would have a low down here and then you've got a higher low which is actually in favor of the bulls uh when you are on the downside of the squeeze mom and once again we're solidifying another higher low technically at this moment in time unless we start to pick up momentum so we're still in a crab market. You know, if we draw a box of best fit, we've literally been lollygagging and something reminiscent of a bear flag uh, for quite a few weeks now. It's been very, very boring, which is why I haven't covered Ada in about a month or so. When we do look at the squeeze mom daily time frame, it looks like it's about to start curving back over to the downside. Obviously, this is a daily, so it's going to take a little bit of time to start to trickle back down. And with the price action we've got on the daily, I think this is going to start picking us back down. And we're once again probably going to get rejected and take a massive massive leg to the downside when we did flip bullish we didn't even manage to break up to the heart line and i imagine it's going to be the same here you can see a very brutal series of highs you flip bullish here uh you had a lower lower high down here and you actually came back up to the heart line so you kind of invalidated this structure but still in the macro time frame you've got a high lower high and this is still a lower high so it looks like all of the oscillators are pretty brutal. OBV, which is the on balance volume, is massively, massively exiting right now. So not looking good, not looking good. Well, it's not looking good if you're holding uh, ADA or if you are in a long for this right now. I hope none of you are because, you know, personally for myself, I've been saying on my channel, I am not touching altcoins for months until I believe the bottom is in. Uh, a lot of people think it's great to DCA for a bear market. I disagree. I did it in 2018. Wasn't a good idea. So that's what I try and tell my audience and the people who have listened to me and sat on the sidelines for the last two months. I've witnessed Solana go from like $80 to $36. They've witnessed Ada go from like $1.50 down to uh, $0.47. Cent. I've also been saying Ethereum is going to come down from $2,500. It's now $1,200. So all of these alts are getting wrecked in the higher time frame. The people who are really benefiting from this bear market are the people who are going to sit on the sidelines and not necessarily sit on the sidelines forever. That's not what I'm saying. The next couple of months is really when I start to uh, look at altcoin positions that I'd want to pick up. Let's get back into the oscillators and momentum indicators. Squeeze mom four hourly time frame, really picking up a lot of momentum right now. If we do continue to break down and we do break below the 786 at 46 cent, you are going to see the uh, somewhat bullish structure over on the squeeze mom, where you've got lows, higher lows, higher lows, and higher lows. Which once again to the downside of the squeeze mom would be indicative that bulls would soon take back over support. If we do see a break below 46.5, it's not going to happen. Let's look at the MACD, MACD four hourly time frame, massively, massively heading down. It looks like we've been chilling for the past 12 hours, 24 hours or so, uh, but we have still been picking up momentum, which is very, very nice. Pa past eight hours, as you can see, we've really started to slip down, so it's not surprising to see the MACD in this state. Everything looks like it's brutally brutally pushing back down you're also seeing the macd on the hourly time frame get rejected just below the heart line and once again you're following with this trend where you've got a high you've got a low high slash double top it's kind of hard to see on this one uh it doesn't really matter too much you know double top low or high whatever uh, and then you come over to here and you just poked your head above the heart line when you did top out here uh, once again this one's hard to see if we zoom in here you can see right here you topped out just below the heart line and you can actually see this was a lower high. So you've got high, lower high, lower high. And once again, another lower high. Look at the hourly MACD massively, massively capitulating. So the oscillators, the moving averages, they're getting absolutely beat down at this moment in time. So I, I'd be very, very cautious if you are looking to enter at this moment in time. I think, oops, I think we've definitely got more room to go to the downside. So basically everything is calling for another leg back down to the downside. Once again, if the 786 capitulates at 46 cent, you are going to see us finally come down to our price target at 36.7. If that does get capitulated, we're going to come down to some of our uh, to some of our lows down here. At, for example, around about 12.6 cent, all the way down to 22 cent. Now, this is definitely a massive drop because uh, Cardano has a very very large market cap, so it almost sounds somewhat. Uh, somewhat impossible for it to do something like that but bear in mind we've got a gdp report coming out for the us in the next 30 days if it's negative we're going to be in a confirmed recession we haven't seen anything like that since 2008 so subsequently it wouldn't make sense to look at previous bear markets and how it performed because we've never been in a recession since crypto has come into fruition so all of the signs point lower 
Momentum indicators, RSI is making lower lows and lower highs. It looks like it's curving over and about to head down right now. Weekly time frame, RSI is absolutely stagnant. There is relatively no uh, strength whatsoever in the market. And I imagine if we switch back over to the daily, you've got a very brutal head and shoulders pattern. If I highlight this right now, you can see, let's discount the wicks and do it from the candle body closes. So from here, uh, line of best fit on this one here, here, down to, yeah, this this was the right shoulder right here. And then this one just seems like it's kind of elongating for, for a long period of time. So this would be what we're really faced with at this moment in time. Let's see, where is the top of this? Is it actually just above where I've got my fib drawn? I shouldn't have done that. It looks like it's just, just on point with it. So if we draw from the top down here, drag it down to the bottom of this head and sh uh, shoulders pattern. If we do break down, there's going to be a massive area of confluence between 23 and 22 cent. And once again, this big green box down here between 22.5 and 12.6 is where I personally plan on targeting for ADA. Uh, that's all I've got for the ADA price action. However, I would just like to show you uh, the stock market in Bitcoin briefly, because there's no way we can get the full picture of what is going on with ADA without looking at Bitcoin. Bitcoin's doing the same. Higher time frames and lower time frames, you are seeing things like the squeeze bomb, the MACD start to flip bearish and massively capitulate. We look at the stock market, stock market is massively, massively taking another leg to the downside. Four hourly time frame looks brutal on this. Uh, the dollar, the dollar is taking a massive, uh, another massive leg to the upside. So I just don't think the bottom is in. I, I think, you know, all signs uh, point for higher price targets for the dollar, lower price targets for the stock market. And obviously, as we know, Bitcoin is inversely correlated to the stock market. So the dollar goes up, stock market goes down, Bitcoin goes down, altcoins go down, and subsequently the bottom is not in for Cardano. So my major price targets do keep an eye on next is like I said, 46 cent. I don't think this is going to hold. I think this is going to be out of the water very quickly, but then what I see panning out is 36 cent, 29 cent and 22 cent. I know I've given a lot of price targets, but if you want my opinion on where I think we're going to bottom or where we're going to be heading to in the macro term, it is this green box between 22.5 and 12.5 cent. That's all I've got for you today. As always, cowboy out. Peace.